Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about co-functions. Uh, so this will help you determine the missing angle for either sine or cosine. So co-functions are trig functions that are complementary, which means that the angles are going to add together to equal 90 degrees. So if we look at the very first example, uh, here we have sine of 30. So automatically I know that the co-function of sine is going to be cosine. And then if I do 90 degrees minus 30 degrees, I'm going to get 60 degrees. So I know that the sine of 30's co-function is the cosine of 60. Same concept works. So if I have cosine of 50, I know the co-function will be sine. And then 90 minus 50 is 40 degrees. Moving on to sine of 12.5, co-function will be cosine. 90 minus 12.5 is 77.5. For the last one here, cosine of 47, the co-function will be sine, and then 90 minus 47 is 43 degrees, okay? So you might also see an algebraic approach here. So if you look at example two, it says, if sine of 2x plus 20 is equal to the cosine of 40, what is the value of x? So I know that the degree measurements in here, which are represented by 2x plus 20 and 40, are complementary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add both of these together and they are going to equal to 90 degrees. Now in this fashion, I'm just going to combine like terms and solve algebraically. So this will become 2x plus 60 is equal to 90. Subtract 60 from both sides in order to get 2x is equal to 30. And then divide both sides by 2 Therefore, x is equal to 15. And in order to check your work, if you substitute back in, 2 times 15 plus 20. So 2 times 15 is 30, and then 30 plus 20 is equal to 50. So therefore, I know that if I have the sine of 50, that is indeed going to equal to the cosine of 40 because they are cofunctions. That explains co-functions for today, and I hope to see you all be soon.